Yeah, good morning. I'd like to uh, talk to you about uh, our vibrant universe. Um, I've been walking around uh, for many years with this idea already, and but now I'd like to, to explain it to you. And uh, uh, during my um, this this uh, explanation, I will um, point out to you some very uh, so, some some very interesting videos that I've seen on YouTube, and which I these these ideas I use for this this overall idea that I'm going to present you right now. And I, I, just, I don't know how it is with copyrights and stuff like that. So, so I first f thought to integrate these videos in my video, but I, I don't know about uh, copyright, so I'm not going to integrate them in my video uh, because I, I don't have the time and the, the willingness to to find it out about copyrights and go after it. So I will uh, put the links some, several times here. Uh, I'll point it out to you uh, which video I mean. And you can check it yourself. Uh, this is what I can do. Okay, uh, I'd like to discuss about uh, several uh, issues. In the first place, gluttony plates. Um, the, the, if you have a mica plate or a plate and you put it on a vibrator on a, uh, uh, and you put it on, on sand or so or grains of whatever kind of stuff and you let it vibrate in different uh, frequencies uh, and you can see nice patterns and oh, it looks so uh, it looks very artistic it's very nice to see and um, well there are several videos uh, uh, um, about this and uh, well I'm going to point that out somewhere here or there or there or above here well and check these videos out because it's very interesting and it, it's part of what I'd like to share with you but this <coughs> also <coughs> what you see is that on the gluttony plates that uh, the grains gather around in in spots where there are nodes I mean the plates are obviously vibrating and in the nodes in the places where it's least vibrating the the, the grains gather uh, well you can do this in two dimensions you can also do this in three dimensions and that's what they did on a certain kind of university and this video uh, here shows you very clearly it's a nice video i like it very much um it's it's good to see um and also that happens um now we have also the the casimir effect in which uh, particles pop in and out of existence and it's also vibrating and the the, the, the casimir plates uh, which are very, uh, metal plates which are very close together they are pushed to to each other because the the outside the the, the particles that are outside are are more than the particles in between the plates that are created and so they push the, 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 the wave pressure is pushing the whole thing together which tells us that the universe is, is not empty even if you would do this in high vacuum uh, this still this phenomenon still took place it's uh, discovered by Hendrik uh, Casimir a Dutch guy of course <laughs> I'm a Dutch guy too um, <laughs> Dutch guys are simply smart people <laughs> Um, and uh, he found it out uh, while several decades ago already and it, it's true it, it happens even the, 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 um, the um, computer designers have to take uh, care of this uh, effect uh, into account in the, in the design of computers um, now and also uh, what I like to uh, show you and I'm going to make myself uh, some videos and I hope to integrate them and um, in which I can show you uh, that if, 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 if you look in your house, if you look at the streets, that where does dust and, and uh, garbage collect at the places where there is the least way of, of mo movement. Uh, the, move, the, the, the movement is, is uh, the least in those spots and over there, if you look under your, your bed, if you look uh, behind a closet or something like that, then the dust is gathered over there. And um, now also we know that, that, uh, um, uh, that nature has a vibrational uh, um, form of nature, it, it is vibrating. Um, everywhere where you look, uh, we describe uh, particles as uh, uh, wave functions and stuff like that. The universe is vibrating. The the um, the, the uh, zero point energy it, it's vibrating. Particles are popping in and out of existence. Uh, virtual particles, uh, which we know of, and so so the universe is vibrating. 
Um, there is the, the Brownian motion, uh, very important in this matter. And uh, I, uh, the, the Brownian motion, um, if you put, uh, uh, there's a nice video I'm going to show you here as well from 60, 60 symbols. Um, if I'm correct, uh, 60 symbols, uh, the videos, and they have a nice uh, Brownian motion video, which I'm going to show you here. I'll uh, put the link down here. And um, in there you see a, a, a bigger particle uh, bouncing around on little, smaller little particles, and it's bouncing around. So that, that happens also basically with, with matter in, in, in a vibrational uh, universe. And um, let me see what I have also. Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, and there is of course if you look at at space and uh, there is a, a, a nice video. It's it's a simulation, but uh, I don't like that too much. But okay, uh, if you look at this this next video, the um, this simulation uh, indicates, and uh, this is op this simulation is based on observe uh, observed uh, structures in the universe. Then you see actually a, a very foamy. Uh, way of structures in which uh, uh, galaxies and stars are connected by uh, uh, um, yeah, spaghetti-like structures that connect all the uh, um, galaxies and clusters of galaxies together. Now, all this summing up uh, is uh, um, actually basically basically what 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 is the uh, idea that we live uh, uh, in a in a universe that has is very vibrant, and that the vibration of this universe is actually causing these structures, and that gravitation, for example, is um, is where where. Uh, <laughs> where it are the quiet place, the nodes of a vibration. I mean, if you have a vibration, that in the middle point there is a node, but on the node there is uh, less movement, so to say. Now we know that the um, the, the the space is vibrating. The um, um, I mean, the, the Casimir effect uh, shows that very clearly, and also uh, uh, space fluctuate quantum fluctuations so it is very vibrant the the universe is very vibrant but that also causes uh, uh, larger objects like in the brownian motion to be pushed in a certain uh, kind of way and that is where where are the nodes so in in between with the wave uh, there is a node and there is gathered uh, a lot of mass and that is actually gravitation um it, it's actually um uh, due to uh, quantum fluctuations, um, other particles that, that are bouncing around li like on the Brownian motion in the video that I show, uh, gave you the link to, it's they are bouncing to the, to the node and actually that is gravitation, that is what, what gravitation is. So there is a link between uh, quantum, um, quantum uh, principles and quantum phenomena and gravitational. It, it acts like a Brownian motion on which the, the dust particles are vibrating to the, to the nodes of the, the vibrational situation in, in the rest of the universe. But it also creates uh, in the larger structures. If you see, the, um, and that's one, uh, another uh, subject what I uh, like to add, is a fractal. This whole process is fractal, uh, a fractal, a fractal based and you see this this type of pattern on big scale but also in in in, in uh, tinier and tinier scales so this this the whole uh, principle behaves like fractals on big scale the universal scale where a gravitational <coughs> where these vibrating uh, 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 oscillating uh, stuff structures the the mega structures in the in the universe so that you get a uh, um, spaghetti like a uh, 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 fiber like uh, structures in the universe how clusters are gathered together and in in, in between there are voids just like a like an uh, like a soap like in a soap in a soap you have the the the, the, the surfaces of the soap bubbles and in between there's a lot of voids but in the universe this is created due to the vibrant uh, 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 properties of nature itself and space-time itself and uh, so that's how these 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 uh, structures arise but this goes not only for the bigger uh, scales but also for the smaller scales so it's a fractal like 
uh, behavior phenomenon that is structuring our universe on big scale but also on small scale and gravity is is uh, uh, nothing more than uh, a Brownian type of motion on this vibrant uh, quantum fluctuations where due to uh, particles that they, they, they are pushed into a, a, a nodal area and for that example um, a, a black hole or a, a, a point in space time where there's a, a lot of mass like a black hole a neutron star a star itself and so on, heavy masses they're actually the nodes the, the most optimal nodes in that vibrant universe and uh, dark energy could be uh, in, 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 in the empty voids, in the empty megastructures, could be the energy that is, is, is the vibrating energy of the universe which is pushing the universe further and further apart because like in a spring, a spring tries to relax. If you compress a spring and we know that the universe is expanding so something apparently like wants to relax and expand so it's pushing there is a pushing forward, uh, a force driving the the universe to expand uh, in an accelerated way and so apparently the whole universe is like a compressed spring that likes to 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 relax and to expand in a, and that's the vibrational uh, situation over the whole entire universe and in in doing so creating all kinds of structures from big mega structures uh, in 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 the, in the galaxy uh, mega structure uh, uh, in the uh, galaxy clusters and um, <clears throat> uh, creating these f fibers of of uh, fiber fabric of of these clusters of, of galaxies and so on and uh, but also on smaller scale it, it acts uh, uh, in the same way creating uh, um, uh, stars and, 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 and so or having stars not creating God created them and uh, but maintaining these stars and um, but also on smaller scale I mean if you look at our solar system it, I mean it's 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 planets uh, orbiting a sun it's it's uh, it's actually also vibration and atoms I mean if you look at uh, uh, electrons um, circling around or being around a, a nucleus and 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 uh, having a, a density uh, a, a probability density which is uh, pointed out to um, by by wave function um, then you see the same structure on big scale but also on smaller scale uh, down to the lowest level of, of uh, how the universe is structured so basically it, this tells us that the, the, the mat uh, materialistically spoken I'm not speaking about the spiritual level because there's another level which I'm not going to speak here to uh, now but, but ma materialistically spoken uh, the, the, the theory of everything, uh, T-E-E-O, the two, uh, is actually the sinus and a cosinus uh, uh, function. And with that, everything can be explained. Uh, um, so, so actually, basically, the, the theory of everything is com uh, compactified in a sinus and cosinus uh, uh, wave function. And you, you can apply that to all kinds of uh, things and, and uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah, this is what I want to share uh, uh, for now. And that, that all these, these, these things, the fractals, the gluttony patterns, you can see that in, in, two, in two dimensions, but also in three dimensions, uh, the Casimir effect, the megastructures in, in space, the dust that in your house is collecting on the quiet places where there is the least, least motion m movement, uh, the vibrational nature of of, the, of of nature, so to say, and the Brownian motion, the, the uh, in combination with the quantum fluctuations in space time, and stuff like that. Um, Another little issue is, uh, well, a little issue, what we see is also that uh, um, the, the, the passing of time, uh, Einstein teach, uh, taught us that, that uh, time is relative, that, uh, that's true, and uh, we, we found it out over and over again, uh, also recently with the gravitational waves, um, and what we find is that time, uh, time is consumed, time 
is uh, uh, in a reciprocal way uh, uh, in relationship to energy but also to mass and to speed the same goes for for uh, um, distance uh, so so if you have a, a, a delta x or a delta t both are related in a reciprocal way to uh, the amount of energy to the amount of uh, uh, mass and to the amount of speed if you have a large energy uh, a large amount of energy or a large amount of mass then the time is passing slower over there than further away from that mass so the time passing is a uh, reciprocal in a relationship with energy mass and speed if you speed up a, a, a particle for example a, a muon a muon is it has a very short li uh, half-life so it, it decays very rapidly but if you speed it up uh, closely to, to uh, light speed uh, speeds then it, it, it lives very much longer we see that because we know that because uh, the mu muon particles that are created in our upper atmosphere reach the, the, the bottom of the uh, reach the sea level well normally that wouldn't be possible if they had didn't have a, a large speed and if they have a normal speed they decay before they reach the, the, the surface of the earth but because they have a very high uh, close to uh, the spirit of light uh, speed then they they it lasts very much longer so they can reach the surface of the earth um, and you see that always so with, with, with big masses, if you have a big mass like the Earth, like the Sun, like a black hole, the time is slowing down. And, uh, well, this is very remarkable. So, uh, apparently, a big amount of energy, whether it's in the form of speed, whether it's in the form of mass, but the big amount of energy causes uh, the consumption of time. But also because time, you can never get it back. You can also only lose the time and then you're, it's lost. I mean, you, can, you cannot retrieve the time back. Uh, with space, it's a little different. I mean, you, you can retrieve the, the, the space back. Um, um, but time, once it is spent, you cannot get it back. And uh, uh, so time consumption uh, takes place slower in a slower rate add a big amount of energy and that's that's remarkable so the space-time fabric is is uh, um, being consumed or altered by uh, the presence of big mass big energy and and high speeds and that's remarkable so the, it, there is a relationship that uh, a, a reciprocal relationship between uh, space-time and a lot of energy and keep that in mind because it's a very important relationship. Uh, well, this is what I wanted to share for for this moment. Um, well, that that um, <clears throat> we live in a our our universe is a vibrant universe and its structures like atoms, like like uh, particles, like but also like uh, uh, forces are actually caused by uh, the the vibrational nature of our universe how our universe is constructed even the expansion of the universe is caused by a vibrational uh, 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 phenomenon in our universe so so the, the basic uh, uh, theory of the materialistic everything is the sine cosine wave function so sinus x is i is sinus x or i is uh, uh, cosinus x well, this is what I want to share. Uh, you guys, I'm going to present these videos uh, in the links uh, down down uh, here somewhere and have a watch. And it's a combination of all these things that build up this 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 theory. Uh, maybe we can do some predictions based on this, and uh, I'll come back on that later. Okay, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Hasta la vista. Bye bye.